I got a Budgie SDR101 multi mode receiver. Uh, it can receive analog radio communications. Oh, you know, you say there are side effects, but what are they? And I was like, make it quiet. <coughs> From 100 kilohertz to 149 megahertz uh, using AM, SSB, and FM modes. Pretty much it can receive anything analog. Uh, a harm, broadcast, marine, air band, whatever, whatever you can find analog in this. Uh, uh, in this bands, it is a good metal uh, case, quite nice screen. Uh, it is a touch screen. Um, uh, it has reasonably nice speaker. Uh, this is an encoder that uh, you can change parameters. Uh, there is also push button, push button here. It comes with a um, antenna. Um, it worked well when plugged in, and the battery was also charging. But it was not switching on from battery alone uh, before the repair. Um, the fault was blown power management system on a chip called IP. 5306 and that that's that's this tiny bit here uh, 5 by 5 millimeters uh, 8 legs SOP 8 integrated circuit um, with a ground plane here I'm not sure you can you can see it but that, 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 that it needs to be soldiered also here and underneath to the PCB uh, that's what this uh, IP5306 um, is. Specs say it can handle currents uh, of more than 2 amps. Possibly with really good ground plane it is able to dissipate the heat but the way the radio's PCB is laid, the ability to handle such currents uh, and 10 watts uh, of power must be limited and this is my theory why it went that most likely radio drained battery uh, was charged with high power USB um, charger soldering of the chip was not done proper, proper, properly and it was missing a good contact with the ground plane uh, it got really hot for a long time and this was too much for the IC and it was blown. Uh, I suggest for all users of uh, this radio to use a uh, standard USB uh, charger, half an amp, uh, usual um, USB uh, current. IP5306 is a popular chip uh, found in many portable devices with uh, Li-Ion uh, rechargeable uh, batteries. It is often called power bank management IC, but you find uh, you find it in Bluetooth speakers, media players, walkie-talkies, portable displays, in many portable devices with. Uh, uh, the ion batteries. There are two generations that I believe share identical label. Older is non-programmable. This is what this radio had and the new one uh, can be set up with I2C protocol. Apart from getting the charge into battery and boost up battery voltage to 5 volts to power the radio, it also manages the charging LED indicator.
So we're going to put together the SDR radio. Um, the charging IC has been replaced. Um, I also had to replace the switch here uh, because it was melted by the whole hot air in the close proximity to the IC and right now we need to put everything together and test it and we'll see whether this is going to work you'll have the uncanny sense that you've heard us discuss this stuff before. Except the conception of David Spiegelhalter. We've never discussed that before, but I assure you that the echo will not be quick to fade. All that lies ahead, but let's start with obesity. A recent story of...